Akshay Khanna and director Ken Ghosh have come together for State of Siege 2 Temple Attack. I want to start off with you, Ken. Tell me, how did this project materialize? Well, this is, as you guys probably know, this is uh, season two mm-hmm. of uh, a very successful franchise. Uh, season one was a web series called State of Siege 2611. Uh, and this is a series which is uh, which is essentially um, deals with whenever the NSG commandos have been, NSG has been called in to face uh, terrorist attacks. Uh, season one was on 2611 and uh, the whole story about that. And season two is a 90 minute film uh, which is uh, which is on uh, uh, inspired and loosely based on uh, the Akshardham temple attack. Akshay, you are known to be a very discerning actor when it comes to the choices you make. So what was the attraction of this film for you? It's never any one thing. It's, it's a combination of so many things. Uh, I was looking to uh, you know, be in the action space for a long time. Uh, so when this came along, that was something that was uh, I was desperate to do. Secondly, I found the script really engaging because it's, uh, as as Ken said, it's based, it's loosely based on uh, a true life incident. So, true life incidents kind of appeal to me as an audience, and uh, it was just a lot of things. I mean, working with Ken uh, was something that I, I really was looking forward to because I really thought the two of us could could do something really good together. So it's, it's, it's multiple things. The trailer looks very thrilling, like I told you. And you're back in the uniform after quite some time. Was that an added appeal as well? Yeah, because uh, 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 I, I like the, uh, you know, the, the ethos and the attitude of, uh, you know, people in uniform, especially the armed forces. And, uh, you know, it's a very no-nonsense kind of... Uh, approach, very disciplined, very uh, uh, to the point, you know, there's not, uh, and even the film is is very to the point, there's no distractions, you know, there's nobody's grandmother's dying in hospital, or there's no backstories, it's just about the operation, what happened, and how the NSG uh, dealt with it. So, I think those are the kind of stories that you know, keep people engaged, you know? Uh, so, yeah, it was it was a lot of things. Ken, uh, you know, th- this space, uh, it's, it's an exciting one. We're all in the mood for thrillers this season. But, uh, you know, was there any learning process uh, when you were making this film? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, we, we have, uh, we had a... Uh, 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 Consultant from the NSG, uh, Colonel Colonel Sen, who was on the set, he himself is ex NSG. The learnings about what the NSG do and how they operate, and you know uh, the 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 discipline and the the mindset of an officer that is willing to put himself uh, in front, you know, protect a stranger, a fellow Indian. But yes, a stranger, and take a bullet if need be for him, mm-hmm. uh, was incredible. I mean, just getting into those their, their mindset. Having said that, of course, there's the energy officers, uh, but then the, also the mindset of the terrorists. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the calculations that they do, and uh, you know the cold bloodedness in which they execute whatever they execute, I mean, their mission. Akshay, similarly for you, did you find out, uh, you know, a- anything interesting or like some new facts that came to light while you were shooting this that kind of surprised you or even blew you away? I think, uh, as Ken said, uh, the interaction with Colonel Sen uh for such an extended period of time, we spent so much time with him that just listening to his uh, st- stories and his, it's not just stories, it's how he tells you a story. 
uh, you know, it's, it's 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 a very unique perspective. Like if I was telling us uh, the same story, uh, it would be very very different from the way Colonel Sen spoke about his experiences as a as an NSG commando, his experiences in the operations that he's been part of. Uh, whether he was in the army or NSG. And, you know, sometimes you, many people ask you, how do you prepare? How do you, uh, you know, what is your pre preparation? And in this case, I, I can honestly say that just listening to him, having lunch with him, observing him, uh, was enough preparation for me to be able to execute what was on paper. And uh, so, yeah, it was a very, very, uh, it was a huge uh, learning curve for me. The Colonel uh, Sandeep Sen was, of course, second in command at the NSG during the horrific uh, 26-11 attacks of very uh, celebrated and decorated officers. So I'm sure it must have been some invaluable information there. Uh, can this, for you as a genre, is perhaps the first time? How did you, you know, what made you... Uh, can you say yes to the script? Okay, so uh, this is a genre which I've been uh, I've been secretly shooting in my head a uh, <laughs> hundred times. Uh, I I mean I've grown up with the genre. Like I said, I mean being a son of a naval officer, you know, there's always been that fascination with uh, the armed forces, uh, World War Two, reading stories of about commandos. I mean I could do a thesis on on World War Two. You know, and the operations and how they were done, and uh, you know the big battles. Uh, so for me, it's it's actually something that came very later in my career that I got a chance to uh, to do a film like this. In fact, actually, uh, let me tell you. I mean, I tried very very badly to to make. I mean, I had written subjects, ideas, concepts, but as films for a long time. Uh, before Border and then after Border also for a long time, producers were very, you know, iffy about doing war films and things like that. And I mean, I had Uri in my head back in the day, you know, uh, a, a really cool special forces films. But I don't think our producers got it, you know, back then. I'm talking about the 90s and, you know, early 2000s. But then thank you to the web space that, you know, different genres are being made and celebrated and, and doing well. And uh, I got a chance to finally visit this. Well, actually, speaking of the web space, this will be your digital debut. The first time a release is not going to be a Friday in the theater. Is it a strange feeling or, you know, just another release for you? It doesn't feel strange at all to me. Uh, it feels... Very today, hmm. very today. It's just it's it's just so, so much part of our lives, uh, you know. OTT is is I mean, at least for me, it's even uh, overtaken satellite television. Yeah, you know, and uh, and I think as as time progresses, more and more people will be uh, you know introduced to this kind of uh, viewership uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's so widely accepted that it doesn't feel strange or abnormal or different at all. All right, but it's very exciting seeing you on the OTT space, a uh, very fast growing space. And of course, with the addition of big uh, names like you, Akshay, it's definitely uh, booming in the country. And uh, Ken, you know, I was reading up on the Akshadam attack after watching this trailer. And I was surprised to find there was so much information in detail about what happened that night. Uh, was there an attempt for you to be as factually correct and authentic as possible? We were very, uh, we tried to be as authentic as possible in terms of what the NSG would do, mm -hmm. how they would move, how they would, uh, you know, if there's a space before them, how they approach that zone or that area. Um, other than the fact that a temple was attacked by terrorists 
and the energy came in and you know solved the matter or you know solved the issue other than that there's nothing else that's uh, common with with the akshardham attack uh, so that's why we are very clear to say that it's loosely based on the akshardham attack uh, otherwise the story is very different uh, there are a lot more layers that have been added uh to to uh, an attack on a temple and uh, yeah so i mean we yeah, yes I, we did research everything about the attack but uh, a lot of things we didn't use mm -hmm. we didn't use it over here that's interesting to know and you also chose to to shoot the story from different perspectives uh why was that a choice that you made why not just stick to one perspective of perhaps the nsg so um because there were so many players mm -hmm. to the story uh there was there was of course the nsg uh within the nsg there were different levels of players when i'm talking about senior officers junior officers uh then comes to the terrorists there were the handlers there were the actual terrorists themselves and then you came to the victims you know there were so many victims i mean they were all the the victims all fictitious characters but uh, you had lots of stories to tell there because at the end of the day the audience connects with the victims mm -hmm. you know so you need to uh, tell that part of the story also well because that's what the audience connects with you know because they if tomorrow if something like that happens uh, god forbid uh that's this that's the part that they would identify with well yes absolutely and once you know more about them uh, you know you you just are more invested in the story but just a great premise and a fantastic trailer thank you so much uh you know for joining me today i had a lot of fun talking with you thank you thank you yeah.